All right, here we go. Fight number five. Big thanks to Arwet Fightgear. We introduced this man fighting out of our blue corner at 53.2 kilos, having his eighth Muay Thai fight. He fights out of the RMAA Fight Center. Give it up for Jasper McKinlan. And his opponent in the red corner, he weighed in at 54.8 kilos. Seven fights, five victories. Sorry. Urban Muay Thai is his gym. Riley Bones. Number five, a vote in the red, and McKinless in the blue. Bex Tui joined ringside by our CEO slash former world heavyweight champion, Nick the Nightmare Atkins. It's been a great start, mate. Mate, it's been a cracker. The first four fights have certainly um, come out swinging, and I think it's set the pace for the rest of the show. Jasper McKinless here in the blue is uh, featured a number of times on Infliction. Very rangy, very cheeky little customer, isn't he? Yeah, no, he certainly is, and um, he's from the Redlands Martial Arts Fight Centre, and funnily enough, that's where I actually started my martial arts career when I was 13 years old. 40 years ago, <laughs> a super heavyweight world champion was born, and a nice catch and sweep. The uninitiated will notice the elbow pads, they can still throw them, but have you, have you fought with elbow pads on? Uh, no, I actually haven't. Because I imagine it still hurt like a mongrel. Yeah, I don't believe it's going, to, um, it's going to do a great deal of protection. It might, might help with the cuts, but um, you've still got the majority of your forearm that you can still land properly it's anyway. Like putting a baseball bat inside a pillowcase. Like, it's really, there's not much it's going to do. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, it probably, it probably stops the point of the elbow from cutting a great yeah. deal. But, like I said, the, um, the crossing elbow of that action, if it lands with the forearm still, there's no elbow pad over that. Yeah, lovely hands from Voigt there. Love to see them put together those different levels of technique and a cheeky little teep there. From Jasper and Voigt on the outside on the way out. Been great use of leg kicking by the first four fights tonight. Showed the real advantage if you're new to the sport. Just how much you're going to mobilise an opponent, Nick, when you target a particular area, particularly on that lead leg. Yeah, no, exactly right, and um, he's got a poker face at the moment, but... Lovely sweep there on the way through. That's no, action packed. Beautiful right hand from McKinless to end the round. <laughs> Queensland ring hire, bringing us this one. I love a, a business name, Nick, that you don't need to go, what do they do? Queensland well, ring hire. If you're on the Gold Coast, if you're in Brisbane, if you're on the Sunshine Coast, and you need a ring, they will hire it to you. They won't give it to you. They'll hire it to you. Well, we're fighters, mate, so we've got to keep it simple, right? I just love that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Round two, Jasper McKinless, Riley Voigt. Red for Voigt, blue for McKinless, Nick the Nightmare, Atkins, ringside. Beautiful hands from Voigt. He's been very snappy in that right-hand wizard pass. McKinless in his home corner. Yeah, he's just got to control his distance there, Riley. He, he, um, he backed up just on the ropes, but they missed for the right and fell into the um, the clinch. I just find Jasper when I watch him, he's so slippery. Like, he should be getting caught in that situation. Press forward, cut off from Boyd. But Jasper's just very confident in his defence and he can skip out pretty easily. Cops a kick on the way through to the mush. No, he's got a tight guard, um, but I think he needs to counter as well off that. So um, Riley realises there's going to be consequences when he throws. So um, yeah, I want to see a couple of counters or even step up elbows um, from Jasper as Riley comes forward. Beautiful right hand over the top from Voigt again. He leads with it and cops a receipt by way of a kick. Sort of a nothing teep or a flicked out leg there from McKinless, who walks into that right hand again. And he's almost using that right hand as a jab, Nick, just to upset his forward-moving opponent all the time. I like the uh, I like the, the back leg kick on the back leg from there uh, from Jasper. Most people don't have conditioned rear legs, so um, we're interested to see if he keeps targeting that. Expert comments from the former world champion. Does it suck to say former? Yeah, days. Mate, age sucks, but it is what it is. But at least you could say former. Yeah, it's still safe for me. It's all good fun. Now we're looking towards the future and it's pretty bright by the look of it. Yeah, wonderful what you do. You and your 
small band of very willing followers here at Infliction. This whole thing is a beautiful takedown there from Voight. This whole thing is about giving these guys, I guess, the intermediate step between this and the world shows, you know. We've never gone out to be world beaters. We've always gone out to do the right thing by fighters and give people opportunities against well-matched opponents to, to show that they should get slots on a bigger, better show with a bigger paycheck. We'll just check out this one from our sponsors at Arwood Fight Gear. Third and final round, and it's Voight that opens up. Jasper McKinless, he's got that poker face, but he just is that fighter that you just go, get busier, Jasper, when you watch him, and he responds somewhat there with a nice flurry before ending up familiarly, Nick, in the blue corner. Yeah, no, he's just, Jasper's just got to control that range a little bit more. Um, you know, while he's walking forward, but there's openings there when he's walking forward. So, like I said, Jasper's in a tight guard. I reckon there's some uppercut elbows he can land there when Riley runs forward. Nice close of distance there. And as we say that, Jasper throws an uppercut elbow. That was great. Beautiful stuff. Also notice Jasper throws his shots. He's just got to move laterally. They're moving straight back, which as you know, straight into the path of a, of a forward moving opponent. You know, difficult to do. The boys are starting to tie a little bit now. Oh, attempted head kick, nice and flash. So rangy off that lead leg is Voigt. Both men, in fact. Cheap from McKinless, outside leg kick from McKinless. Neither man really, Nick, launching a sustained attack on the legs. It's been rather sporadic throughout this fight. He does, Luke, and the, the, the longer the round goes on, the more openings there are, because they're getting a bit tired now, so their hands are, you know, around their shoulder height, and they're heavy on their front foot, so there's opportunities there to finish strong, and it might be the difference. Yeah, not long to go in this one. Jasper McKinless in blue. Riley Voigt in red, you could argue. I'd suggest for Voigt, but I am definitely not a judge and not to be respected with 10 seconds to go. Both men... Really, the reality of the pace of this fight sinking in for both of them. And as Voight pushes forward to what avail we shall see in moments, folks. Now, another great matchup. Warren Westerberg's done a great job matching, you know, the, some of these fights on the card. He's um, amazing to be a part of the team. boy's so a wizard. Hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for these two young fellas? Fantastic. We go to our judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. This one, to the red corner, Riley Bowe.